Hello, I'm drinking my water and I'm gonna do a haul today as you saw on the title of this video. I'm gonna put my water down. I recently moved to Montana. I'm originally from Chicago. I came over on the plane and turns out when you move you can only have a certain amount of stuff in your suitcase. So I ended up not bringing a lot of stuff over. So I've been shopping. Typically I don't shop a lot and I only buy like what I really need. So hopefully this video gives you insight about my personal shopping choices and the things that I think about when I do the those purchases. It's something that I try to be super intentional about. I have to consider how much does it cost? How many times will I wear it? Does it look good on me? Will I keep this for a long time? So the first thrift store that I went to is a really cool community thrift store that helps actually the homeless and people that have suffered sexual abuses. So it's a really cool thrift store that is really giving back to the community and so I really really just want to support them. First item that I bought was this super cute skirt. I think it cost me four dollars and it has this really cool embroidery detail on here. I think it's factory made honestly um, or machine made, factory made, same thing. But yeah I'm a size 9, 10 and this fit me perfectly. And the only thing that I really don't like about it is this flap here <laughs> in the front. I'm just like what? Why? But I just don't feel like this is gonna work with the flap so I'm gonna sew it actually and close the gap so I feel a bit more, sec more secure but it's super cute and super flattering on my body type. I think I'm gonna wear this a lot during summer with like a cute top. I have tried not to buy too many like shorts or skirts because I don't really wear them. I'm usually a homebody so I have like PJs on and the air conditioner so this is most likely the only skirt I'll wear and own for a long time. So there's really cool like water spots in Montana because there's just a lot of nature and so I thought okay I need a bikini I'm kind of conservative on bikinis that I wear I like to have the cut a little bit more modest not too provocative and I really like flower prints so I thought this would work well I would have liked if it had like a boxer cut like more like shorts that's just me. It's super cute. It flatters my body really well. It does all that it needs to do. So this is my go-to bikini now. So I've been getting really into natural dyes and like dyeing your clothing with plants. And so I got this shirt for a dollar. Oh, I just realized I haven't been telling you all the prices. The skirt, I think I mentioned was four dollars. And then the bikini, six dollars. This is pretty expensive. I usually don't spend more than like six or seven dollars on a piece of clothing. This one I got out of the bins and it cost me a dollar and I'm planning to dye this with like I think avocados or something. I'm trying to decide like what to dye first. If you haven't like seen my other videos from like last year I was super into natural dyes and I stopped but I'm really getting into it especially now that I took a class on um, natural like plant-based dye so this will be my first victim. I think I'm gonna crop it maybe make it into like a tank top or something so I'll see. Okay so when I was shopping for bikinis I fell in love with this one but then I didn't try it out in the store and then I tried it out at home and this gap right here is just so provocative and then the detailing right here just makes my stomach look bigger it makes me look wider in general and I just feel so uncomfortable when I'm in it and then the texture can you see that it's like it looks like I'm an alligator like it's not good I paid six dollars for something that doesn't make me feel good also, sorry if you hear a lawnmower in the background. I'm in the sunroom and this is the only good lighting and people want to mow their lawn. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like a size medium. I don't know who wants it. I don't know if I should keep it or wear it or give it away. I just feel guilty buying something and then not making sure I was really in love with it because with all the other pieces, I've like fall. I love it. I it represents me like the embroidery of the skirt. It's just so beautiful. The rose detail on the other bikini is just something that I gravitate towards and I know I will love and be comfortable in. So I'll decide what I want with it. Maybe maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe I want to be an alligator person. You know. <laughs>
Okay, so these cost me 50 cents. These are beautiful, beautiful like mugs. They're kind of hard to see in the sun, um, but they have like beautiful flower details and prints on them. And I've been trying not to drink as much coffee, but I, I mean, the struggle is real. I guess cute mugs really do make the difference. It just makes me feel happier when they're cute. I'm like, at least I have one nice thing going for me <laughs> in the morning. You know, I need to drink this coffee. I need a little bit of an aesthetic to it. So yeah, I'm a big mug lover, so I know I'm gonna keep these. Okay, so that was all I got from that thrift store. I spent $38 in total. Oh, I bought a wallet that you should see. Okay. I forgot I bought these. This is the wallet purse that I was talking about. It's so cute. It cost me like three dollars and the print is just incredible. Like it has like the most like soft and tiki but cute and trendy vibe going for it. I love it. So yeah. <laughs> and then I got this little like cute camera bag. This costs like four dollars and it's super cute, so if I ever need to go film somewhere or do something with my camera, I now have a specific bag for it. And hopefully I don't drop it and kill my current camera. So it's a really good purchase. So now I'm going to show you what I bought from Goodwill. The intention of me going to the thrift store was to find a container because I'm going to start natural dyeing things and I need a container to keep the liquid plant dye and so that was the intention but I came away with a whole bag of stuff which is not ideal but I found what I was looking for plus more so pros and cons people pros and cons and I just realized I left a jar in the car so the one thing I needed I left <laughs> I left in the car so I'll go get that okay I got it isn't it so pretty I'm gonna store all my natural plant dye in this jar i was hoping i could find something decent and i did this cost me three dollars and it's glass based and i love the sun detail it's so cute i was not expecting to find such a cute jar in the thrift store and i almost missed it honestly i was just like walking around randomly i feel like i have adhd sometimes and i have to like keep going back and forth back and forth to the area to to look what i'm looking for i just get restless in stores in general so like i have to walk the store like six times and then i always come back to the section i need and then i'm like oh i've been here five times already and I've actually found what I was looking for, finally. Hopefully this holds up for a long time as well. I'm so excited. Alrighty, I found a lot of cute like shirts and I definitely spent too much money on clothing. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. My bank account is not happy. But I found this super cute blouse. It's like a yellow beige and it has these cute like flower details on it. It's a little bit big for me, so I'm wondering if I can like fix the sides. I mean, I think it's easy to go in and sew, so it's more adjusted to my body, especially because it's a square shape. So I'm definitely invested in this piece, especially because of the border detail. And like white slash beige really does work well on my skin. So I think it's gonna, I think it was worth the price. It was like five six dollars i think i really love like more sophisticated styles to things like i don't really go for the trends okay so this next shirt is ca a cacti <laughs> shirt i love it i love the detail in the middle i think it's going to be very flattering on my body i don't know if you can see it and then i love the sleeves look at the little cute little wing sleeves i have a really short waist and so this sort of like trimming at the end will accentuate my waist and then accentuate my hips. This is from the brand Elodi, size large. It's definitely not a large. This is more like a medium. So always make sure that whatever you're buying is more for your body versus like looking at the size, if that makes sense. Like kind of like gauge, will this fit me? Even if it does say large, like it's definitely not a large. Okay, so the next blouse that I got is this one. It's kind of big on me, but I kind of like it. I kind of feel like it's going to give off a very unique sort of like rustic, odd vibe. 
to it. I love the small details on it. It's not embroidery exactly. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's like white stitching on it that just makes the whole difference to the shirt. I don't know if you can see that. I really felt what I feel like this emulates Mexican vibes, like Latino vibes. I love the framing it has here at the bottom. It did cost me $5, so it was pretty expensive in my eyes for something that I didn't even try on, but I have faith in it, and if it is too big, I can just always cinch it or tuck it in or give it away to a friend. I'm not that worried. So going back to the summer theme, this short is from Simply Vera. They're a wing, size 10 shorts, mid-rise. I generally go for shorts that are kind of on the longer side and I think that these are long enough for me to feel comfortable and I like the texture of it. It's not too like outdated. It seems a little bit trendy with this detail right here and they feel comfortable as well. Again, I didn't try them on but they seem, they seem good. I kind of gauged it with my eyes. I think the five dollars will be worth it so i'm trust i'm trusting the process okay trusting the thrift store process <laughs> so this may seem a little bit random but i bought a scarf that wrapped up the mug in it okay well i'll show you the mug later this scarf costs four dollars i've been getting anxiety because i don't have a scarf does that make sense so i own <laughs> i own a gray jacket and like i need a scarf for some reason i am from chicago and usually it's only like hot for two months and then goes back to like really bad weather so in my head i'm like this is only going to last two months and then i have to prep for like the future so this is me prepping. We're, we're not really going to touch much on this. I mean, it's cozy. It works well with the color of my jacket. It work, it helps my anxiety, okay? It's just, I need it. Just in cases, you know? Just, just, uh, just for funsies. That was not a good purchase decision. But we're, we're not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay, so I got more mugs. Do we need more mugs? Should I have gotten this mug? No. Was it a dollar? Yes. Did I fall in love with it? Yes. Look at the pattern. It's going to make my morning so much more brighter and cooler. Like, I don't know what this animal is. It kind of looks like a deer slash like coyote slash Egyptian something. You know, I, I fell in love with it. I love the green. I love the flower and the abstraction of the animal that you don't really know what you're supporting. But it was a dollar. Do I need more mugs? No. No, I don't. It was a bad buying decision, but it's cute. Okay, another mug. What a surprise. I cannot get enough mugs, huh? Now looking at all my mugs, I am feeling more guilty. <laughs> It was also a dollar, really cute, really small. It's kind of showing how bought this because like, what do you really are gonna drink from this small cup? I don't get people that drink from small cups. Like what, you need to get like five cups. I like, get up and up, up and up to get some drinks. Like, j -j -j I, t I need big ones, okay? Not the, not, again, not the best decision, but it was a cute decision. I am someone that loves like vintage like athleisure and this seems like out of the 90s like what your grandma would wear or what your mom would wear and i love it i love the color this is actually like my favorite color in general and i love the banded sort of like cinched waist detail here i think it's gonna look good on my like hips and then it's long enough to like look kind of cute i feel like so i'm definitely gonna go wear these to like sleep or to walk the park or something it's a walmart brand walmart used to have a collection called basic editions i would know because my mom bought a lot of like walmart stuff and so i've always been familiar with these styles and when i was growing up i was like oh i need some shorts and she would pull them out from the attic um and i just love 90s fashion as well um but these are an extra large but they don't feel or look like an extra large and this, these were kind of expensive. They were, they were like five dollars, and they're from the '90s, so they're pretty old. So hopefully they endure my use. And I think this will probably be my like only athletic shorts for the summer. Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of books. So I got fast food genocide. This is basically explaining like why fast food is killing us and then i got this one it's called why civil resistant works i am still trying to improve my like activism and my knowledge and i truly believe in like non-violent like strategies and communications and 
just like practices and so I think this one will be really good in understanding like how people have done like successful non-violent resistance stuff in the past and I'm excited for this I know I'm gonna learn a lot from that also all the books cost me like two dollars they used to be cheaper but I mean the economy you know the economy so this one is the web of life this one basically explains societal ecosystems and how people work together from the activism work that i'm doing hopefully i can find ideologies and policies that can help me sustain communities and not like extract anything from them in the process of trying to create a better world okay so this is called the alphabet uh, versus the goddess. I started reading this about two years ago when I got into like the first two chapters and I was so fascinated with it. It basically explains how uh, humans have changed through the introduction of like literature and how our left brain and right brain functioned and will function based on like the changes in society. So I, yeah, I'm excited to read this. I, well, these were one of the books that I wish I had brought over for my move. But I didn't, so when I found it in the thrift store, I was like, oh my god, like, it's here! It's, I can read it again! And then this one is called Tayo and Dharma. I wanted to get into these topics a little bit more because I love, like, spirituality. I love learning about practices other people live by to become a better person. And so I've been also been trying to get into yoga. I was supposed to go to this yoga session today. And I didn't end up going. I was a little bit intimidated, a little bit tired, and a little bit like, I don't know. But I think this one will help me kind of like understand how yoga goes alongside like spirituality and consciousness and like Indian spirituality, which is something that I'm like more focused on in general in my spiritual journey. So I'm hoping that that this book helps my process and like beginning yoga. And then the last book is called The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life. I think this book is so amazing. It has so many cute like drawings, um, like cute drawings, like cool pictures explaining like spirituality with science. And I also think it's like so interesting that I live in a place called the Valley of the Flowers or what the Native Americans called the Valley of the Flowers. And this one is all about like spirituality and centered around like the science and how it creates like patterns of flowers and sacredness and I think it's kind of full circle and kind of understanding all of this will be something that I can reflect on especially in my immediate environment because it's so closely connected through terminology and it's, it's also like we're all on stolen land so I'm like how do I respect and body the the place I'm around and so hopefully the books around spirituality help me deepen my relationship with the land and to understand its history as well. My last book is Braiding Sweet Grass. I currently have this book as a like library rental and so I'm happy to have my own copy and to like actually take my time to read it um, and to have it forever. Ooh, boarding pass. Oh, oh, she's from New York City. Interesting. Oh, I can't show this. This is private information. When was this? Was this a while ago? October 2021. So two years ago, or a year ago. She went from New York to here. And then she went to Salt Lake City. Um, but that's interesting. You'll always find like random stuff in books, but I guess she didn't read it. She was just like <laughs> in the first chapter. Look at my mess. Oh my god, my mess. And my camera is so hot because it was in the sun over here. My camera hates me. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you also like that it's a little bit longer than my other videos. I try to make typically my videos like less than 10 minutes. Um, but this one just was a lot of stuff. I usually don't shop this much, but it just like all happened within like two to three days when I was looking for like stuff I needed. Um, and I just got a lot of extra stuff. So hopefully you enjoy this video. If you like hauls, let me know. I can't promise I'll always do them because 
Like I said, I don't like shopping and I actually want to do more videos on like anti-haul. So things that I actually don't want to buy next month. And I'm trying to get a better like financial plan for myself. So I think it'll also be helpful to share like how I'm spending my money, especially as a you know like fashion activist and community organizer it's really important to understand and to like be conscious of like why you're spending your money because that means that's supporting or voting for certain things in the world and so yeah let me know if you want more hauls want to support the anti hauls or do you want like financial details of my life i am open to share that so let me know and if you have any other ideas also let me know i love making videos I love just like sharing my life. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to. I wish you all the best and see you in my next video. Bye.